All right, gang, I'm off to a late matinee Friday screening of Peter Berg's Deepwater Horizon. I really enjoy, as I've alluded to many times before on previous uh, YouTube reviews, I really enjoy fact-based films, even ones that sort of shoddily uh, revisit history. Uh, I, I just find the whole genre itself, which is so all-encompassing, really fascinating. I think that the marriage of Peter Berg as a director and star Mark Wahlberg is a really uh, compelling one, primarily because they're so similar in terms of their career trajectories. Uh, Peter Berg is a director who has made some films that I have really, really admired. Uh, I love Friday Night Lights. I also thought that his uh, The Kingdom, I think from 2007, I, I think I'm pretty sure I put that on my list of the 10 best films of that year. I thought that was a criminally uh, overlooked film. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. HD DVD. Oh my god! Oh my god! And of course, the rundown uh, with The Rock. Uh, I thought that was one of uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's better action films. But there's also a lot of skeletons in Peter Berg's closet, like Very Bad Things and uh, Hancock, the really wrongfully misguided Hancock, and oh, don't even get me started on Battleship. No, God, please, no! And you know what? Mark Wahlberg is kind of exactly the same way, I think, uh, for every really solid and incredible performance. Yeah, no, no, no. You know what? I'm the biggest star here, man. That's the way it is. Uh, he has an equal number of uh, unrelenting stinkers. This part of the field may not have been set off. Something in this field could be releasing the chemical into the air when there's too many of us together. <sighs> no! Can we just forget that the happening or most of the movies on the back end of M. Night Shyamalan's catalog just didn't exist? Is that too much to ask? Let's just stay ahead of the wind. So anyway, yeah, I'm really interested in this film. So I'm journeying off to the cinema. I'm going to check it out and I'll be back with a review. That settles it. I am never working on an oil rig ever. All right, gang, I uh, just got out of Deep Water Horizon. Holy shit. Are you seeing this? Everybody off the this might be one of the best films about a fact-based disaster that I've seen in an awfully long time. And I think it is one of the most technically assured and confident pieces of filmmaking that I've seen in 2016. I mean, Peter Berg, in my mind, has always been a real uh, consummate and skilled uh, cine cinematic uh, tactician when it comes to really um, creating films with a real polish and sheen and I think he really outdoes himself with this film. We gotta get to the last boat right now. Uh. now. For those who are really unfamiliar with the fact-based storyline of Deepwater Horizon, it is based on the disaster that occurred in the Gulf of Mexico in 2010, I believe, and I'm sorry if I got that year wrong. And there's a Deepwater Horizon which basically uh, exploded due to some, let's say, due to the negligence of the corporation that decided to really just throw a blind eye uh, to safeguards. Uh, uh, 11 men died um, as a result of this disaster, which is really kind of staggering because when you look at the actual, when you consider the severity of what occurred, it is a miracle that only 
11 souls perished as a result of this. And one thing I, I really admired about the film was that at the very end, in the end credits, uh, they showed the pictures and the names of the 11 people uh, that died. And I thought that was a really kind of a classy and honorable move by Berg to include that. The film sort of delves right into sort of the working minutia of what it's like to be a part of this oil rig and the film achieves a level of veracity that's uh, so atypical for films of this nature. It just feels so grounded and lived in and the banter between oil, all the uh, various oil rig workers feels completely genuine and realistic. Hey, how you doing man? <laughs> and I think a uh, huge props needs to go to the cast of the film who really bring their A game. And Mark Wahlberg uh, plays um, one particular oil rig worker who um, really sort of has uh, a real deep-rooted pride in his job, but really has difficulty dealing with uh, a lot of the corporate stooges uh, that are really trying to make everyone's lives on the rig uh, very difficult. Um, John Malkovich shows up as a BP um, higher up. We are a big company. Millions of moving parts. We all work very hard to ensure those moving parts are functioning as a means to very profit win for all of us. You know, Malkovich is one of the better actors at playing uh, really overbearing, sniveling, you know, a-holes. <laughs> and he's the kind of guy who comes in and says, you know, you don't have to do all these unnecessary tests based on what he considers unfounded data to ensure that the oil rig is uh, successfully working because according to this film, the oil rig was 43 days overdue uh, for an actual drilling operation. And it should be noted that the men on board the Deepwater Horizon, at least in this film, their job was to ensure the preparedness and readiness of the rig for future drilling. You know, Kurt Russell appears in this film as uh, basically one of the leaders of the oil rig and you know it's so easy to forget how good of an actor Kurt Russell is. I, in my opinion still the greatest cinematic wired herb that we have ever had. You tell him I'm coming and hell's coming with me you hear? Hell's coming with me! And he just brings a, sort of a level of uh, white knuckle gumption that I mean I, a character like this really needs to have uh, to be pulled off really successfully. He has really wonderful camaraderie uh, and sort of chemistry with Mark Wahlberg and Mark Wahlberg I gotta say um, again as I mentioned earlier he's given a lot of awful performances in the past. Maybe people are setting off the plants? What are you saying? That guy was crazy. We have to save them. They're already dead. <sighs> But man, when he brings his A game, he is really, really solid. And I think this is uh, one of his better performances in a long time. I think he uh, he was fully credible as this oil rig worker. Give me those eyes. <laughs> hey, come close to the computer. Give me those eyes. No. That is a genuine dinosaur tooth. She's gonna Live out. I mean, this film is just an absolute triumphant marriage of like live action footage and production design and visual effects, and in particular, uh, sound design and sound effects editing. Everything works in concert together to create this frighteningly exhilarating film. Uh, there's hardly ever a moment where the you feel that the film is bombarding you uh, with a lot of computer generated fakery and obviously there was there is this is a very visual effects heavy film but they really don't sort of draw attention to themselves they're so seamlessly integrated into the action and you really come out of the film with an overwhelming sense of the severity of this disaster as well as the haunting danger that these men and women really found themselves in. I mean, it was just a real 
a harrowing experience on so many levels. Is everything okay? We gotta go right now! It has a very difficult task with trying to explain to you what it is that these men on the oil rig actually do and what they do with the pipe and, and, and so on. And Berg and his writing team find a very ingenious uh, few scenes in order to illustrate exactly what goes on in very plain spoken in a very plain spoken manner. Uh, one particular scene involves uh, Mark Wahlberg's character's daughter uh, sort of showing her father her class presentation that she's given on what her dad does and she sort of demonstrates with a, co a shaken up Coke can um, what it is that her, her dad actually does on this oil rig and how this rig actually works. And then there's a couple of uh, sequences later down the line that do a very good job of really explaining uh, all the particulars. And I really like that because it doesn't feel sort of needlessly expositional. It, it just feels very natural and it feels very authentic. I, I was really blown away by this movie. Like I, sometimes uh, fact-based films like this can sometimes get maybe a little too saccharine for their own good. Uh, a lot of times they engage in a lot of um, raw, raw jingoism. Uh, there's a couple of sh uh, fleeting shots of the American flag uh, blowing in the wind as all this absolute turmoil is happening around the characters. Uh, but you know, Berg doesn't really, he's not trying to sensationalize this tragedy the way say a, a Michael Bay definitely would have if he directed this film. But. <laughs> He's not really trying to uh, engage in some sort of commentary about uh, the nature of the oil industry and how sometimes they uh, turn a blind eye to safety when looking for profits. I think ultimately what the film is really trying to do is really trying to just completely cement viewers within uh, a really tragic moment in this industry and it really shows uh, the bravery of everyone on board the Deepwater Horizon and what they went through in order to ensure their survival and get off the vessel. Hey! Hi! Mayday, Mayday. This is Deepwater Horizon. Yeah, I think this is uh, a really really strong film. I think it's probably Peter Berg's best film uh, since The King. This is really uh, one of the most superbly uh, crafted and executed films of uh, our very early fall and uh, I think it's a film that definitely deserves to be seen by everybody. My wife's name is Felicia and my daughter's Don't Don't see them. and I will see them again. Do you understand me? I'm so anyway, there you go. There's my review of Deepwater Horizon. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the film. Also, let me know what you think of the films of Peter Berg. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doubting that there's any battleship lovers out there. No! Once again, thank you very much for watching. If you could like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll see you at the movies.